I'm Eleanor Cleverly with designmilk.com and I'm here with uh, Scott Begg from Brassica from New Orleans, Louisiana. Great. And uh, Scott, can you tell us a little bit about where this concept came from? I was building my own home in a very windy place on a, on a beach in South Africa and the soot kept blowing back in the house and I kept experimenting with other things that I could burn that wouldn't give off ashes. And I tried gasoline and kerosene with disastrous results. I finally figured out that somebody suggested denatured alcohol and so I made a very uh, crude initial prototype and it was beautiful and all my friends loved it and we spent a couple of years on the beach sitting around my alcohol fire. When I got to the States I found out that it wasn't an original idea that an Australian company had already done it first and we're selling them at ludicrous prices and so I bought one I was kind of disappointed about the value for money this could be done better and so we really spent a lot of time working on engineering a new mousetrap a better mousetrap we've got the burner um, with a completely different approach to, to construction and we also figured out how to mass fabricate them at a much more affordable price point so we launched the product seven months ago at Dwell Magazine and a terrific result there this is our first time in New York New York's a very important part for us. Obviously, so many apartments yeah. don't have fireplaces, so many lofts that would be great with standalone fire features, and a lot of older homes and apartments that you can put um, a smaller tabletop unit into an old fireplace where the chimney doesn't work any longer. Great. So how did you settle on this aesthetic? It's both really approachable, but also modern. And what is this? Um, I think it's probably years of reading Wallpaper Magazine and Dwell Magazine back-to-back -back and being influenced by, by both of those sort of editorial you know viewpoints um, we really like things that are clean sleek and modern a few people have tried to customers have tried to push us towards more traditional with ceramic logs but we feel people are already doing that in this market we wanted something that was light and, and easy to blend into with the sort of houses that I like to design and this is eco-friendly very eco-friendly this is a 100% vegetable based fuel it's uh, alcohol with a tiny uh, extract of a bitter plant which makes it undrinkable which is important um, um, but it burns clean, and uh, you can feel good about burning it because you're doing, you know, a small, your small part for the environment. Great. And we've, we've just launched a new product here that we're really excited about. This is what's getting all the reaction at the show. This is our shadow screen, which goes over our best-selling Navani item, and this throws shadows on the walls. You can't see in this lighting, but in a dimly lit room in the evening, it throws shapes of shadows on the wall, which we're really thrilled with. Yeah, that's great. Well, Scott, thank you so much for speaking with us today, and good luck at the fair, and good luck with your product line. Thank you so much.